Welcome to Electron Online. In geometry, we also use what we call the arrow notation, the symbolic notation in character format. And so here the statement, if P is true, then Q is true, can be represented by this symbolism right here, where we have P and Q with an arrow from P to Q. This simply means, if P is Q, then Q must be true as well. Or, if we look at the converse, then we can say, if Q is true, then P must be true. And then we have what we call the inverse statement, where instead of using the true value, if P is true, then Q is true, here we say, if P is not true, then Q is not true. And that's what the little squiggly line means, that means not. Or, the counterpositive of that is taking this and put it in reverse, if Q is not true, then P is not true. And finally, the symbolism used for biconditional means that it has to be in both directions. That means for this to be true, it must be true from left to right and from right to left. If P is true, then Q is true. And if Q is true, then P is true. And that means if uh, P, if, and only if Q, that means that we have the bi directional condition must be true in both directions, that if P is true, then Q must be true, and if Q is true, then P must be true. And then we can say it is a bi-directional condition. So those are the symbolism that we use in geometry.